Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to make a 60 attack progress video. So I started three 60 attack builds about two months ago. I uploaded the first video of them on the 6th of November. So that's nearly two months now. So right here I'm on my pure. The stats I got right now is 60 attack, 69 strength, 1 defense, 89 range, 20 prayer. 69 mage and 79 hp so i still need to get 31 prayer but that's a thing of like three minutes and then i need to get 73 strength to be balanced and then i'm getting them up one by one so how i'm training on here right now so i'm using the best gear i can get Actually, I could get a Regan Brace, but since I'm doing the Absorb method in Nightmare Zone, I would need to guzzle down twice as much since I don't do the Rapid Heal Prayer Flick because I don't have that and I don't have the time or I want to AFK a bit more than that. So first off, I just did this exact same method with Blowpipe and Necklace of Anguish after I was 75 attack and some other range gear. And now I'm doing it in that gear. So the important thing is the Dragon Skimmy, Unholy Book, the Amulet of Torture, then the Combat Bracelet, Climbing Boots and Berserker Ring. So for this exact method, you just take a Dream Heart, you take a customizable one if you have some bosses that you can't kill. I have the Dekanov one from Horror from the Deep and that's quite bad. So you just go in, guzzle down to 1 HP, uh, pot all those potions, guzzle down again later on and then pot attack and strength. So it's like that. But I think everybody understood that. So, the bosses I take are those ones here. Uh, let me start the dream again for everyone who hasn't seen it. Uh, the bosses I took are those ones. So, Count Trainer, Tree Spirit, Cossard Warlord, Bouncer and Black Demon. It would better if you do, I think, the one quest, how is it called? Yeah, I'm not sure right now. You can mm, take another boss than Black Demon. So, quests I did on here. I did some free-to-play quests, then I did Animal Magnetism, I did Dead Plateau for the boots, Animal Magnetism for Avas, I did Dig Side for mining levels because I did it on all accounts, um, I did Fourth Cannon for cannoning the first levels of range, I did Fight Arena for attack experience, Fishing Contest, then I get, did Grand Tree, Horror from the Deep, Lost City, Monkey Madness 1 for the D-Skim, of course. I did Priest in Peril uh, for uh, for Avas. And I did Tree Gnome Village and Waterfall Buff for Attack and Strength Experience. And of course, I did the Boar Crawl for the book. So, um, I only have done three recipe of disaster parts so far. I've done the Dwarf, I've wa done Warf Face, and I've done Pirate Pete. I still need to do Evil Dave and Scratch. So what are the targets in this account? I'm getting 99 range and when I'm getting 99 range I will be at 88 strength because I will train them up by one range level then either one or two strength levels uh, depends on if the threshold changed it's always range multiplied by 1.5 is um, and the floor of that is the strength level. I will put the formula uh, on there is strength and attack combined. So because I'm rambling, you probably can't understand me. And before I go pre-king the first time, I will get 31 prayer. And then I will have a nice d clause pure. And long term, I'm getting 99 range and 99 strength with 31 prayer at around combat level 81 or 82. I'm not too sure. Depends on the HP level. So here I am on my rune pure uh, and 60 attack build. I got it to 90 mage so far with splashing like I showed in the video of 6 November. I did that for a long time now. Um, about 115 hours of splashing or about 
between 115 and 125 hours of splashing I assume and I got myself 41 defense all with quest experience I will do nature spirit and heroes quest and will get it to 42 defense then I will get 31 prayer I think all prayer experience from now is by training but I will uh, want to get big gloves before I start getting 31 prayer and I'm sure this account won't be PK ready until I can uh, uh, when be when D claws come out like what the fuck is up with my English but yeah so I'm also getting the range level to about the uh, to 94 when I get 94 mage and for that I'm first going to quest that's the reason I got myself over 50 mining um, 52 fishing and some crafting and some wood cutting so I can finish heroes quest for the defense experience so I can wield void and then I'm getting myself 94 range when I'm getting myself 94 mage so I can balance it out and then I want to get myself B gloves and then train my strength level to 81 at least but probably higher because 81 strength on a rune pure you have some pures there which will destroy you or and void rangers are quite strong in that combat level range as well so if you get a higher strength level your D claws can destroy other people better so quests I did I'll just list the important ones and I did uh, exactly the same quests on my um, 60 attack uh, Pieti build or how is it called? P oh, fuck yeah you know the level 70 prayer build where I get 60 attack and 70 defense I will show that next and here I did the important quests are animal magnetism, death plateau, dig site, uh, dwarf cannon Fight Arena Fishing Contest, Fremi Trials, Grand Tree, Horror from the Deep, Lost City, Monkey Madness 1, Priest in Peril. I already took the Monkey Madness 1 reward. Then I did Priest in Peril, uh, Recipe for Disaster. I have done exactly the same parts. I will put an image here so you can see how I quest. I will put some quest images here. So you can see I don't do them one by one, I sometimes do five at the same time or even six. Always do all the accounts that need that one quest. And I got myself the prayer books as well. And I also did uh, Dragon Slayer. Where is it? Here. For uh, defense and strength experience. So long terms, what stats I'm going for? 60 attack, 81 plus strength, 42 defense. 31 prayer, 94 plus range, and 94 plus mage. Hit points level depends on range and strength level because I'm not doing lowering hit points methods on here because I think a rune pure should have a good amount of hit points to not get one hit all the time. Okay, let's get to the next build. Okay, right here I'm on my 60 attack, this word build, piety. I don't know. Last time I got roasted for saying it. So fuck me, right? Um, so right here I got exactly the same stats as on Michael's 11th, which was my rune pure build. Uh, but I got it 49 prayer already because I wanted to do the monkey menace one boss a bit easier. It was easy anyway, but I thought why not quest before, uh, get some prayer level before questing because I will get it to 70 anyway long term so I think I will get it to 69 soon enough and then finish it with the quests so right here all I did was splashing for a long time as well doing some other stuff like getting skills up for heroes quest now so I can quest them together and I think on those two accounts I'm not getting monkey madness 2 done in the beginning because I'm getting Monkey Madness 2 done on three other accounts, on 1st, 4th and 8th soon enough. And I'm not able to get the 69 Slayer and 70 Crafting in there soon enough to, to join them. Because of that reason, I'm just doing it on the other three. Here I'm doing other quests for request points, because I think there are a lot easier ones and the requirements are a lot easier to get. So my targeted skills for this account are 60 attack, 
mostly quested, but a lot of a little bit of it trained. Uh, then at least 81 strength, but I think I'm going for 90 plus before PKing. Then 70 defense. Range level, uh, in the beginning I won't train a lot of range here because I think D skim in like Bendos test sets, Torso should do good enough. Then 70 Prey, Magic of course 94 and hit points level dependent on strength level. Long term I'm getting it high range because I think range 2 claws could be better than only D skim cool claws even on 70 defense. So I'm, I won't get Monkey Madness 2, but I will get B-Gloves. But as I know me, B-Gloves will take me like four months because I'm a lazy fucktard and I hate quests because quests are cancerous to do if you have done too many of them. Like I said in the video before, I wanted to show you how I do my quests. So right here you see I did uh, the recipe for disaster parts, the three ones I did on all the accounts I showed you. I did them on seven accounts most of the time. Right here you can see how I did that. A lot of fucking clicking, uh, but was fun most of the time. Or no, it was okay and bearable. That's the reason I only have done three parts. Also did monkey madness like that and you can see the image right now. And right here it's the end of the video because we are already at 11 minutes and if you have watched this far here are some nice fucking flips I did in the past like the best ones I did in the last month or so. I posted those on my Twitter so if you want to see stuff like that just go to my Twitter click on the follow button because I only got 25 followers there and those are the ones that get the nice informations from time to time. So if you want to be one of the guys who get the nice informations as well, just go to there, press follow right now and be a cool dude. So please like the video, subscribe and bye.